Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Busy boy over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Getting stuff done at the house. I uh, went to the Home Depot a few times. I got these things called tapos. Mm -hmm. You know what tapo is? So you can replace your light switch with a smart light switch. So okay. It's Wi-Fi connected. Uh-huh. So now you hit the button. It's a fade or a dim or whatever. But then you can also tell your smart speaker to turn it off. That's awesome. So you're like, yep. hey, um, master bedroom lights at 50%. Mm -hmm. And they dim. It's like, ooh, setting yeah, yeah, the yeah. mood. Yeah. Nice. Oh, or turn on the master bedroom fan. Boom. Turns on. Uh, they have it on, on Google. They probably have it on uh, iPhone as well. Uh, it's like an automation. So I, uh -huh. when I say good night, it will turn off my TV. It'll turn off the lights. And it'll say, good night, Sean. See you tomorrow. Puke. And, huh? Puke. I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, it, just do it. Don't talk to me. But then, then at 3.50 a.m., I now have it set up where the lights will turn on. The, uh, the um, speaker will say, uh, wake up blank. It's time to kick some blank. And then it will play Lovely Day. Oh, my gosh. That's so <laughs> funny. A, uh, it's so sick. I am living in the future, and I'm so happy about it. That's so funny. And it reminds me, remember the at t commercials back in the day talking about the future? Remember these? Have you ever borrowed a book from thousands of miles away across the country? So they're talking, stopping for direction. They're talking about reading a book uh -huh. on a computer or using GPS. Yep. Not map quest. Someone a fax. Like a text message. So, so literally just wrote something on mm -hmm. a tablet and sent it via fax. Now, obviously, the faxes are dead, but the tablet's there. This uh -huh. is a 1990. This is 31 years ago. Crazy. Before any of this really existed, they got it all right. It's sick. Yeah, yeah. What can we do now? That like our six-year-old selves, our jaws would drop that we're Gosh, actually able so to do it now. 702 597 1027 Because I am so like, and I'm I've only just begun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have only just begun. Yeah. Wait until I get everything connected. I am so excited. Oh my I also zapped myself yesterday and it hurt a lot, but I'm okay I, now. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, like, it, it all grosses me out, though, too. I just didn't understand. Like, my husband was fixing the routers, and so uh, the Wi-Fi wasn't working for, like, a second, but I forgot. And so I said, hey, Google Play, whatever. And she's like, I'm sorry. It's, you know, I'm not connected to the internet right now or whatever it was. And I'm like, then why are you talking? Then why are you talking back? Just don't do anything. Right? Like, why, why do you know what I'm... I don't know. It's just so gross to me but I think it's really cool and I, I have a love hate with my my Roomba but I think the fact that you can just have your, your vacuum with your phone like go and vacuum right just now that. I could just tell it go vacuum now Isn't that she something? would go yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just that alone I'll just, how about the fact that like hey uh, remember CBS would show Frosty the Snowman or whatever it was during the holidays and if you missed it you missed it for 12 mm -hmm. months you had mm -hmm. to wait until next year now, it's just everything's on demand. Just that yeah. alone is unbelievable to me. And my kids will never understand what it was like. The Disney Vault. What's a Disney? They have no mm -hmm. idea what a Disney Vault is. Yeah. We had a, that VHS cassette and that big, like, squishy, like, plastic mm -hmm. yellow. Remember yeah, that? You'd open case. it up. Mm -hmm. And then Fantasia would go inside the Disney Vault. You wouldn't have it for 20 years. Yep. You had to buy it just then. Yeah. The, no Disney Vault. I remember the one of the first times we, or, I mean, just remembering Roman watching TV and not Netflix. And when the commercial came on, he thought somebody turned the channel because he was like, wait a minute, what's going on? What is going on? Because they don't, I mean, you had to wait and you had to run to the bathroom during commercials or, um, you know, go get your popcorn or whatever the case. Yeah. And now you just sit and stare like I did with Love is Blind because it just is at your fingertips. And, you know, I just think that like, in, in the same, like I kind of miss TV commercials a little bit. N not fully. Like I, I don't love them all. But I fondly remember some of them from the 90s that mm -hmm. like I can't really recall other than the ones during the Super Bowl, any of the TV commercials yeah. for today. Any yeah. of them. Yeah. Something? It, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's... it's Pretty crazy, but some things are awesome and some things just really, really freak me out. I, I, I got to see if, do they have like a Wi-Fi connected shower? Because if I can get a shower that like at 3.50 a.m., it'll just, it'll start turning on the hot water <laughs> yeah. and it's ready for me and like everything just, 
Oh my god! It's insanity. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Yeah. I was just I was walking around filming and just seeing how everything worked. It makes me so happy. And my kids were like, "Wait, what happened?" Because now I forgot that I can also via my voice turn off the TV. So when it's bath time and uh -huh. they don't want to go, I'll be like. Okay, Google, turn off living room TV. Yep. And they'll look at me and be like, oh, "Yeah, how yeah. did you do that?" I'm a witch. They're gonna, they're <laughs> gonna find out sooner than. I mean, Roman tells, I'll say, "Hey, Google, play uh, Beyonce," and then Roman will come, "Hey, Google, play Poop Song." <laughs> Like what? It actually does. It actually does. It is. Uh, yeah. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. Yes, in the in in the wrong hands. Yes. For, <laughs> That's yes. why I didn't buy Alexa, because I hear so many stories about kids ordering stuff on Amazon. Yes. No. <laughs>